Okay, so why would you pay for things like Elementor Pro and CrocoBlock with your own money if you can let your clients pay for that? So in this video, I want to show you how you can convince your clients to pay for all of that software, which you can also use for your own websites or site projects. And this is great because this means that you don't have to worry about the money aspect of those essential software pieces. So let's just get started with this video. So what I do is I sell monthly maintenance packages to all of my clients, which they cannot refuse. And I've been getting a lot of questions about my maintenance package. So this is what I do. I just make sure that every new client that comes into my business and wants to work with me, because that is their decision, they're gonna pay at least $10 a month just to cover the cost of a few software tools. On top of Elementor Pro and CrocoBlock, which I mainly use on all the websites right now, I also have a paid security plugin, which I will tell you which one it is in this video, but that package is what I give them for that $10 a month. And by the way, there's no domain and hosting in that package. And before I'm gonna tell you what's inside of it and why this is so great for your clients and for you, what I did before this is I had a $20 monthly maintenance package, but I made that optional. So when I created my offer uh, uh, and it was like, hey, this website is gonna cost you 3000 and then there's an optional maintenance package. But then the people already see that big number, right? That they're gonna pay for the design and building of the website. And then they don't want any more additional costs costs which is understandable of course so that's why like half of the people refused that optional $20 package so then I was like hey I'm still making a profit here but I still don't like this so what about this I'm gonna make it a little bit cheaper so that it's still a great deal for them I'm gonna show you the numbers in a minute but then I'm gonna make it mandatory so that they cannot refuse it so right now my offer looks like this. First you have the price of the website that you're gonna pay for the design and building the whole thing in Elementor. And then there's a mandatory $10 monthly package that they cannot refuse. And then there's an optional $10 package, so an add-on for some extra services. So in this way, I can still make $20 a month with a client. And I also make sure that I always cover my costs. And to make things easy for myself, I send them an invoice once a year because back then I did it every month, but that's a lot of work for administration, which I didn't like. So now I'm just gonna send one invoice a year, super easy, also for them, it's super nice. So let's break down the cost and let's see why this is a win-win situation for you and your clients. And by the way, all the links to the websites that I'm gonna show you right now are in the description of this video. So why would a client pay you $10 a month? Well, I just explain it to them like this. Like I get paid to design and build the website. That is why you pay me. But why should I pay for all the software for years after we're done with the project, right? It doesn't make any sense. So they should pay to keep their website running in the same way as I think that they should pay for their own hosting. It's their domain, it's their website, it's their emails. But that's just how I see this business. It's their business. And yes, I have made the decision to work with Elementor and that will give you monthly costs for them. And if they don't want to work with me, that's okay. They can also find somebody else who will do it for free and who will pay for their Elementor Pro subscriptions for years. It's not smart in my opinion. So I get paid for the design and building the website. And if they want everything to run, I'm gonna use the software that I prefer and that will give them monthly costs. So let's say that they have to pay for it themselves. Elementor Pro for their one website, that is 49 per year. That's around $4 per month. CrocoBlock, I, as you guys know, I use that on almost all the websites. Let's say that they're gonna just pay it for one website, for their website, that's 130 per year. That's around $11 per month. Then you have a few options for security plugins. First of all, you have WordFence. That is the biggest security plugin on WordPress, which I don't use because it's absolutely expensive. For one license, you're gonna pay 99 per year. That's around $8. The one that I use is similarly priced, but for one website, it's, it's 80 per year. Again, all the links to these pages are in the description. And then if your client wants backups, there are actually free options for that. So I'm not gonna include that in here because that could also be an argument of your client that, for example, uh, a company like ManageWP you have free backups, monthly free backups. So that should not be an argument here. So we're just talking about Elementor Pro, CrocoBlock and security. So if your client had to pay for this themselves, 
that's already $22 a month and you are offering this exact same package for $10 a month. Is that a great deal? Yes, for them it's a no-brainer. Because why would you have to pay for their Elementor subscription for years? Makes no sense to me. And yes, I know with my old model, I still made a, made a profit, but now I just want to be sure. <laughs> I just don't want to lose any money, all right? And every client wants their website safely secured. So a free security plugin is not enough. I have an upcoming video about that. Uh, it, it went horribly wrong with one of my clients. It was an absolute mess. So that's why I'm now on paid security plugins because security is, is, is important, <laughs> I found out. <laughs> um, and Elementor Pro, of course, is needed. And a lot of times CrocoBlock is also needed for uh, websites that are a little bit more advanced. So the clients are better off buying your $10 package than paying for it themselves. So now, how are you gonna make a profit? And I already think that you know what I'm gonna say here, but what you of course gonna do is buy packages that have unlimited websites. Because as you can see right here, one website costs this and then unlimited costs this. So within a few clients, you're making a profit here. Elementor of course has changed their pricing model, but still with this package, you're still gonna make a profit. And then WordFans, that is just so expensive, guys. If you have 10 clients, as you can see right here, I'm gonna put it at 10, you're gonna pay this, it's, it's ridiculous. If you have 20 clients, you're gonna pay this, <laughs> even with the discount. So my advice is to pay for the second uh, uh, biggest WordPress security plugins uh, that there is, and that is iTeams, right? WordFans is the most downloaded one. Um, but it also slows down your website a bit, I've heard. So this one is lighter and it has an unlimited package, as you can see right here for $1.99. And yes, I know what you're thinking. There is even a better deal for CrocoBlock, which is the lifetime option, which a lot of you guys already have bought, which is amazing. By the way, there's also a discount if you didn't know that. That's not what this video is about, but there is a discount uh, a code on the Living on Pixels website, which you can find right here, but it only works via my affiliate link. That is not a trick to get commissions. That is just how CrocoBlock has built it. But let's just assume that you pay for the yearly package, you pay for yearly Elementor Pro, 25 websites, and you pay for iTeams uh, Pro or Premium, how do you call it, um, with unlimited websites. That means that you're going to pay $663 in your first year to have all the software for your clients and for your own website, by the way. So that means that if you charge $10 a month times 12 months times six clients, you are already making a profit here. So after six clients, you're making a profit which is great because six clients is very doable even in your first year. And this is excluding the profit that you make by designing and building the website, right? This is only for the maintenance packages and only for the minimum maintenance packages, right? Because if you sell a lot of $20 packages, you're already making a great profit here. Let's go back to the $10 a month and let's say that you have 20 clients after, I don't know, two years. That means that you already have $2,400 per year that you get. And with that money, you can even pay for the whole Adobe suite and, and your, for your accounting software and, and uh, maybe for some other things that you want. So you see, this is, this is a great trick. This is a great trick to be profitable in your business pretty fast. And $10 is not even that much. You can even start at 20 because I've been getting some comments from people who be like, hey, Reno, $10 is really cheap. Yes, I know, I know, but that's the whole deal. You wanna make your clients accept it. And I know that it's mandatory, but you also don't want to make it super expensive because then maybe they're going to work with somebody else, right? You also want to make it a little bit attractive. So I think that this is a great balance. I'm never going to lose money because after six clients, I'm, I'm already making a profit. And for them, it's a cheap package. That's a win-win for me. And yes, I know we're talking about the 25 website licenses, but like I said before, after six websites, we're already making a profit. So if we're at 20, you can easily pay for this. You can actually already pay for their studio plan where, where you will get super fast support. So like I said before, it still makes sense. It's more expensive, but it still makes sense. But now, as you guys know, I've also said that I update the website for my clients. 
So how do I do this now? Now, this is only part of the optional package. So for the $10, I'm not gonna do anything. This is just to cover the cost. And for $20, so for the extra $10 a month, my clients are gonna get updates. This is great because if they don't accept updates, problems can occur on the website, which oftentimes are easily fixable by just updating everything but I can charge them and I can send them an invoice because then the website is broken and I need to fix it again. So if you don't like that, you can also choose to update all the websites for the $10 package. I don't like to do that because I think it's fair that you're getting paid a little bit more for your work, even though it's so simple. Uh, in Manage WP, for example, if you go to Overview, you can see that I need to update quite a few plugins on all of my client websites. And if I don't do this, then problems can occur. So for this $20 a month, I update their websites. So that takes a little bit of work. So what I do is I update them and I click on the website, I click on the main pages and see if everything still works. And of course, I also click the optimize button over here to keep the websites clean. And to make this $20 package a little bit more interesting for my clients, I do two, two more things. The first one is that I buy the uptime monitor. And this is what I've been doing now for a few projects. I bought the uptime monitor. It's like $0.8 per month. And if the website goes down for a minute, then ManageWP is gonna send you an email. Oh, by the way, for the new people that don't know what ManageWP is, I have a video on this, uh, which I will link in the card and the description below. So when the website goes down, I get a message first because the last thing that you want is that your client finds out that the website is down faster than you, right? You want to be the first to know if the website is, is down, then you can fix it before the client even notice it. So that is something that I buy for that $20. I think that that's a great investment because it keeps the relationship with your client better. And a lot of clients also like this, that they know that their webmaster, right? As a lot of clients call me, <laughs> their webmaster can uh, fix the issue when it occurs. I mean, they're running their business, right? I'm the website guy in their eyes. Or, I mean, I am, I guess. <laughs> so this is also great for them and for me. And then the second thing that I also buy is the automatic client report. So for the free version of Manage WP, you have to do the client reports manually. I don't want to do that anymore. It's every month. Uh, I have to go in and create a report and send it manually just for, uh, I think it was also around $1 per month. You will have automated reports. And in that report, as you can see, you can set it to monthly at a certain time, at a certain date, in a certain language. You can even let this plugin wait for your confirmation when the website is down. I mean, how cool is that? So in the report, you can set the data to your language, to the last 30 days, and you can check a few of those boxes. For example, the updates, which you can also automate, by the way, which is something I found out in Manage WP. So you can automate the updates, so you don't have to do the updates manually every month. Super cool. The backups, clients want to see, like, if is there a backup, right? Uptime Monitor, did we go down this month? Great, Analytics, you can connect that to your Google Analytics. So they will see their analytics from the last 30 days. Super nice feature. You can upload your logo, as you can see right here, your colors, and you can preview the report to see if everything looks the way you want it. So this is an example. And by the way, this is this is in my uh, Dutch language, but you can also set it up in English. They can see that there has been updates. They can see that there's a backup the uptime on the website, and like I said, the analytics. And this is also a nice service for them because for a client uh, uh, paying $10 a month to get a report of their website every month with analytics can be worth the money for them. And for you, it's completely automated. The only thing you have to do is accept that you're making $1 per month less profit, but it's completely automated, right? So I just spent $2 a month on these features uh, within Manage WP for my clients, but they have paid the $10 extra. So the only thing I have to do is go in, update the plugins from here with one click, check if the website is still live and the report is sent automatically. The backups are made automatically. And if you want, you can even automate the plugins updates as you can see right here, but I've been testing this. So I don't know if this works yet. I'm, I've just been testing it. Let's say in two years, you will have 20 clients times Let's say that half of your clients uh, are convinced with your uh, upper package. So the average sale that you're making per month is $15. 
times 12 months, that's already $3,600 per year just from those packages. And again, we're not talking about the profit you're going to make by designing and building because those costs are a separate story. You can easily pay for the paid version of Adobe XD or Figma because as you guys know, Adobe XD is free. So if you like to design first before you start an Elementor, which you guys know I love to do, I always recommend because it, it makes your process and your product so much better. You can even buy the paid version of Adobe XD if you want to or Figma. Um, uh, because Figma is actually not free. Well, it, it is free, but you can only do three projects, uh, as you can see right here, which is not a lot. In XD, you can do unlimited projects, but you can't share prototypes. But there are limitations on both tools, of course. And you could even argue that if you're starting out that you don't even have to buy Croco Block. You can just start with Elementor Pro and then I recommend using a, uh, a security plugin uh, because if something goes wrong, you will have to do a lot of work. You will have to find somebody who can fix everything. And that's why I recommend uh, paying for a paid security plugin. I just found WordFence too expensive, unbelievable. So that's why I use iTeams and I've been using that on a lot of websites now. I will make a separate video on iTeams when I have a lot more experience with it. But since I've used it, I've not had any new problems. But again, I will make a separate video about that. So I, I really hope that this video gave you some confidence that starting a web design business is very profitable. If you just charge your clients for those simple packages, it makes sense for them and it makes sense for you. And even with Elementor Pro, CrocoBlock and a security plugin, you will get profit after six clients. That is super doable. All right, guys, if you have any questions or feedback, then leave them down below in the comments. And then I hopefully will see you in another video on living with pixels.